uh, my beloved self in our home, I bless you. Today it is uh, 8th of July 2023. Uh, just now I have, I have seen a video clipping from the Pudhiya Tamilakam YouTube channel. A Hindi clipping or uh, uh, some North Indian channel with the uh, uh, actor Kajol speaking in English. Uh, I came to know that she has criticized uh, our politicians as if they are illiterates. She, she has told that we are ruled by illiterates, that's why our country is progressing very slowly. Uh, <laughs> I don't agree with that. Our country is not ruled by illiterates. Our country, India is ruled by very brilliant Indian Administrative Service Officers, IAS Officers and IPS Officers. The administration is taken care of by the IAS officers and uh, the law and order is taken care of by the IPS officers. This is how India is being ruled. Our leaders are there to take uh, very important policy decisions, but uh, the feedings are given by the senior IAS officers, very knowledgeable IAS officers. Therefore, our country is growing very fast. It has grown fast well, but uh, we are ruled by not illiterate leaders but corrupt leaders that is the reason why our country is uh, snailing slowly if at all she is correct <laughs> but even that i don't agree it is growing fast only because there are certain honest officers also they are also working behind our country's progress um, even in case of tamil nadu if you say if you see stalin mk stalin is not at all speaking anything free he is just reading what is uh, given by the IAS officers. What they have written, that he is uh, reading, just reading, because he is, in, he is actually illiterate. He doesn't know the history, he doesn't know what has been done in the past during different periods of our history. But uh, the IAS officers, as they have read everything, they have studied everything, they give the appropriate feeding to M.K. Stalin. He is giving a correct uh, speech which is actually received by good knowledgeable people too. In, right from Kamaraj in Tamil Nadu, almost all the leaders were illiterates. Kamarajar, I think he would have studied up to 5th standard or so. Karnanidhi, uh, there is no record of uh, to which, up to which standard he studied. MGR studied up to 3rd standard it seems. Jayalalitha studied up to metric. Yadapadi Parnichami is a college left out. Left out. Uh, sorry, left uh, out, uh, but uh, I, 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 he might have studied past uh, plus two or so. Uh, open is alum, he never studied anything, it seems. So, these are all the chief minister's line of Tamil Nadu after Kamaraj. Before that, there were uh, intellectuals uh, ruled uh, up to Rajaji, the India Tamil Nadu state. <laughs> Almost, is, it is, this is the status in all the other states also. Even our uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has, has also not properly studied. He is also a school left, uh, left out, it seems. <laughs> but uh, he has been given the top slot to rule our country by the people. So in democracy, education is not uh, so important according to our constitution, which was framed by education, educated uh, legal uh, uh, pundits like uh, uh, Ambedkar, B.R. Ambedkar and so, or so. Gandhiji, Mahatma Gandhi they also aware of all these things. They were lawyers actually. Why they have framed the constitution in such a way? Because they wanted to want the country to be ruled by good people, not even knowledgeable people, but the people who are elected by, peop by the uh, people of India. Unfortunately, the Indian people, they are poor people, they are electing corrupt politicians nowadays because corrupt politicians know how to uh, bribe the people during the electioneering and uh, bribe by that uh, to come to power. So nearly for the past 60 years, first to 70, 15 years it was ruled by mostly Congress leaders. Later, democracy really started uh, uh, um, come out. So when the democracy started uh, coming out, People have started knowing the uh, value of their votes. Then they started selling the votes to the corrupt people. So the corruption is the root cause for the slow development of India. 
in the first 15 years there was fast growth in indian uh, uh, economy up to kamaraj period after that in tamil nadu for example in tamil nadu after kamaraj when dmk took over then the progress stopped during the kamaraj tenure several dams were built but after that they were started building dams which are of poor standards poor quality and they have started maintaining even the dams with poor quality that's why in the 2015 floods the upper anekat broke down then uh, the water resources minister of tamil nadu was uh, opani salom i think he was in charge or jayalalitha was the chief minister either even jayalalitha was in uh, uh, jail ops was cm in charge when jayalalitha came she was the cm and ops was the wro minister anyhow wro minister was uh, opani salom because of that sk prabhakar current one of the st- senior most of his students so ias officer he was the behind that to collapse because he was maintaining the dams that's why he ran to um uh, trichy he camped there at upper anekat and he was giving daily press meets to safeguard the executive in tp ganeshan from the blame as he did not properly maintain that uh, dam that got broke because of heavy floods so this is how corrupt ias officers though they are knowledgeable like sk prabhakaran sandeep uh, saxena the present wro secretary mani vasan the uh, one of the former wro secretary these corrupt ias officers they are knowledgeable but they are corrupt they are also giving uh, feedings to the corrupt politicians like uh, mk stalin durai murugan opanir selvam and edapadi palanichami jayalalitha mgr these corrupt politicians used their knowledge to do all and karnani this they they started using the knowledgeable politi- ias officers to make corrupt practices legally valuable in that way the it is happening not only in tamil nadu it has been happening all over the india all over the country so we are not ruled by illiterate officials illiterate leaders we are ruled by corrupt officials and corrupt leaders this has to be changed so please i am the party founder and president of new generation party our first ideal is to eradicate corruption from our country the second is to eradicate caste and religious politics in our country from our country the third ideal is to eradicate violence so please be with me please support new generation party to eradicate corruption so we want good leaders good ias officers not corrupt so intellectuals are misused by the corrupt politicians our our uh, politicians are not uh, illiterate alone they are corrupt so they have to be eradicated from the political scenario so please support me in the 2024 elections my party new generation party should be given the maximum number of mps only then india could be saved from the corrupt politicians of india the current politicians of india shiv om